by 2012, after Aung San Suu Kyi was released and she was out on campaign in the countryside, I decided like this is the historic time for Myanmar, and I, I just wanted to me and a few friends we we decided you know we just we should follow and see this history with our cameras, and that's how I started. Now I'm a freelance uh, photojournalist and I'm working in and around Myanmar. With the current situation now, with especially with the censorship and the press, I think. Uh, we have, uh, it's really uh, positive compared to the dark past we had, uh, but still uh, it's not, uh, I wouldn't call it a completely free press, you know, because there's still a lot of uh, self-censorship, for example, it's still some very, um, uh, you know, like uh, dark and sensitive areas, like, but again, you know, compared to what we had, what we've been through, it's, it's now much uh, better and we can only be optimistic about it. I learned uh, photography from uh, my, myself and uh, learned through the internet, but uh, we, we didn't necessarily have um, any institution about photojournalism or storytelling. The opportunities have definitely opened up for the Myanmar photographers, the young generation. When I heard about the World Press Photo Exhibition coming here, I, I thought it was really um, uh, really great and it's really uh, symbolic for the for the Myanmar photographers and more beyond that uh, for the Myanmar public here because uh, wall press photo is uh, you know you're pushing a step further uh, for for communication of this great work from uh, great photographers around the world to our people here I think it's a, a great opportunity for them to learn and uh, explore as well like uh, just by visiting the exhibition here like uh, you know what what can a, a very strong photograph tell tell you yourself and also what is happening uh, elsewhere in the world you know